A large chunk of North America was already in a deep freeze. Now the northeast coast is being hit particularly hard from a winter blizzard. Massachusetts bearing the brunt of it, blowing snow made for near whiteout conditions. Along the coastal regions of the state, there was icy flooding. In the seaside town of Situate, Massachusetts, boats were seen floating in icy waters. All of the northeast of the U.S. was hit with what meteorologists were loosely calling a snow hurricane. It closed many schools and government offices. In New York, heavy snow and particularly high winds nearly brought the city to a halt. And by afternoon, most businesses had closed up for the day. The mayor declared a winter storm emergency and asked residents to stay indoors. This is a serious, serious storm between the the very low temperature, the strong winds, the driving snow, everyone should take this one very seriously and take precautions. The conditions brought airports to a standstill. Thousands of flights canceled in the Northeast, leaving travelers either queuing up to rebook or stranded, unsure of when they might be able to fly. Our flight was canceled and we never got any information that was being canceled. And now we're delayed and we're not sure if we're going to be flying out of here anytime soon. Further south in Georgia, water fountains were no match for the cold, a rare sight where temperatures this low are highly unusual. This is the first time, first time in five years I've seen snow or even cold and ice as much as it is. But back up in the northeast, the situation could get worse overnight. The governor of Massachusetts saying Friday likely won't be any better. If a foot of snow wasn't enough, the forecast predicts single-digit temperatures to move in on Friday. A storm that hit hard and with temperatures now expected to dip down again to minus 20 degrees Celsius and below, there seems little chance of much melting away. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, New York.